Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another topic based on the trust design. So here I will choose name as file name as trust and store your default location in the new and again type will be analytical units will be metric and then click create a new model. See here you will get a default user interface like this. So generally you will take grid, beam grid and whatever we want we can draw here. So if you want trust means we can draw the trust shape based on the grids and then you can analyze the frame. But here there will be some default frame models. So for that in the geometry you can choose structural wizard. Structural wizard. So if you click that one you will get a default prototype models like this. If you see here model type will be in the truss models there will be Pratt truss, wire and truss, hove bridge, lateral truss, hove roof, north light and again there will be different types of models like frame models. So whatever the frame models you want you can choose directly here continuous beams. So like that there will be some different models. So today I will explain based on the run structural wizard how you can choose the default models for design a frame or any truss. See here I will select truss models here. In this I will select hallway roof truss. Before that I will check the units. So go to the file and then select units. Here you can select units in meters and then click OK and click hallway roof. See here in this dialog box the, the parameters will be length will be 15 meters, height will be 10 meters, width will be 10 meters. So choose according to your convenient what are the sizes you want. So I will choose some 10 meters length and height will be around some 5 to 6 meters and width will be I will show to draw the frame without any width like some 2D model which is width 0. So number of bent along base along length will be 6 and number of base along width will be 1. See here I will apply you will get all the things here. If you check this properties so here the length will be 10 and number of base along length will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that it will take in. If you want a different base means you can change the number here and height from here to here it will be 5 meters. So width there will be no width therefore I am choosing width will be 0 and number of base along width will also 0. So if you given any number means you will get along width wise also some distance. See here like this. So like this the truss will be comes. But here I will choose default width will be 0 and no base along the width wise. So after choosing this model you can transfer this model into the your Shad Pro Connect. See here for that you can select this one. So if you click this icon you will get the name as transfer model. Click on the transfer model icon and here you will get one confirmation box. Would you like to transfer or merge this prototype into Stad Pro? Click yes here. So automatically it will fall into the grid at the default 0th node location 0 0 0. See here it will comes at the 0. Then I will switch off the grid. So it will be generally in isometric view. I will change my view in the view menu in the front view. Okay. So here we choose the trust model by using in the geometry and structural wizard. Otherwise, in the beam grid, you can draw all these things manually. Okay. Then, our next step is as usual create supports. So, click the supports and then create supports. So, I will give fixed support. Sorry, I will take pin support. One. If you want, you can take one more fixed word support and you can give that support to the other end also. So I will select the support and I will use my cursor to assign that support. So for the two nodes, I will add these two supports. If you want, you can check with this one roller support also or else you can change with other support. Then next step is properties. So for properties, generally what we did, 
we can define the properties and then we can choose rectangular for the rcc member so this trust is a steel member therefore we can go to the section database here section database so if you click this one you will get another dialog box so it will be loading so see here this is the dialog box after selection of this section database you will get this dialog box and again this will be by default it will be in american code so you can choose indian indian so here after selecting the indian again you will get various shapes i shape m shape but generally we are using for trusses angle sections and again after choosing the angle sections you will get four different conditions like you are using single section from table single angle reverse yz axis or double back to back or long length back to back double angle double angle short leg back to back so choose according to your convenient and the sizes also different indian standard angles like size into its thickness so all the things will be there so for trial and error purpose you choose any one according to your convenient so i will choose here this 150 by 150 by 1 by 10 in the single section from table only and then i will click add here so you can choose material steel here here by default it will be steel only otherwise you can choose steel only and then click add close here so whatever the steel section you will take here it will be assigned to the frame whatever you take here so select this one and assign to view automatically it will assign to the entire structure if you observe here and then you can see the same structure in the 3d mode see here each and every where it will be assigned to the entire frame the section will be assigned to the entire frame so if you want different uh, sections for example this inclined ones you you can choose some 150 and this straight uh, beams you can choose uh, another uh, thickness like uh, 200 or you can decrease the size 100 also you can assign individually okay but i will choose by default 150 by 150 by 10 mm steel then our next step is loading conditions so again in the load case i will add the dead load here dead load choose dead load here click add close and again i will choose live load and then click live load add close so if you want you can add defini wind definitions also but wind definitions generally we will take 10 meters above it will be convenient why because this is a simple truss i think i will restrict my topic up to only dead load and live loads only so while explaining the tower i will make use of the twin loads also okay then so the dead load again default take self weight of the structure which is minus 1 click add close and again in the live load so you can take live load generally in the rc beam you are taking member load so it will the uniform load will be acting but for this type of trusses you are just taking the nodal loads so you can't assign the loads to the bars so rcc will be different and steel will be different therefore you can take nodal loads here and that nodal loads will be some around minus 15 kN like that in y direction and click add here close so assign these two loads assign to view so it will be assigned to the entire structure self weight will be and this live load will be assigned only to the particular nodes so further i will use my cursor to assign so i will assign here if you want you can assign top nodes where it will be so i will assign here you want you can assign here also no problem then after assigning the loads then click analysis define commands so print all and then analyze the structure if you see here your analysis will be completed so zero errors and one warning okay we can continue the problem maybe it will be
so some warnings will get but don't worry it will be zero errors means your structure in safe side only then i will continue the problem then go to the design and again here in the design select steel and again here choose is 800 so generally we are taking for stresses is part to 8 800 and 875 also but uh, check here whether 875 will be there or not if there is so otherwise you can choose this 800 only then select the parameters so generally we are taking yield stresses so here you will get yield strength of steel select this one click okay and define the parameters so i will take yield strength around 415000 click add okay and in the commands i will select check code add and i will go for member take off add close so i will check the code so here assign to so you can assign this entire yield strength to the truss so i will assign to the entire structure and then this check code also to the entire structure and then the steel take off to the entire structure see here entire things will be assigned and again analyze the plus <coughs> see here again zero errors so your designs will be completed so you will get the warnings will be what are the warnings you will get means so the warnings will be very weak spring added for stability so this is not point consecutive analysis command only first used means so the, generally the warnings will be consecutive analysis means we are not following the step by step procedure that indicates not following means we are first assigning uh, some sectional properties and then assigning the loads so that is different so after that you can go to the post processing mode and check the range see here so see the axial forces in the y direction so if you want the results you can click annotate here beam results axial at the ends annotate so you will get the values if you want clear values you can make it zoom here so whatever again if you want moment you can click moment here so there will be only axial force coming for the nodal loads so this is the nodal loads and you can check the beam results whatever you want and again see here so after checking with particular beam so if you observe here the angle whatever you was and isa 150 by 150 by 110 and the result will be passed is code will be 800 each and every detailed indications of the beam will be given so check the design property and whatever the deflections on that particular beam and shear bending loading each and everything will be coming to the particular beam and again you see another beam also so this also passed so if you want to make it confirm so in the select or else you can search directly here select 
failed beams like that means if any beam fails means you will get the confirmation select all fail beams all beams have select all beams that have reported as failed during a steel design so see here no beams are fail in our case so your design will be completed or else you can check individual also so that is the condition here thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much